Hi there folks, Joel Self, Outdoor Instructor here, and in today's video we're going to have a look at taking chest coils as a way of shortening up our rope for scrambling or glacial travel. It's important to note that I'm starting this off by already being tied into my harness with a re-threaded figure of eight. If you don't know how to do that, do check down in the description below, there'll be a video outlining how to get yourself tied in with that knot. If you're going to be wearing jackets and bits whilst you're using these coils, it's best to have those on before we take the coils, otherwise it's going to be a real faff to get them on afterwards. And equally, if you're going to be wearing a rucksack, make sure that's on before you take these coils, otherwise if the bag goes on over the top of the coils, you won't be able to get them off and utilise them without getting the bag off. In some situations that could be a real drama. So, I'm going to pop my hood up because I'm wearing a hooded jacket. And that's just going to mean that as I take the coils up round my neck, this isn't going to get snagged up and change the lengths of some of them. I'm also going to roll these sleeves down just to be a bit more comfortable, a bit more warmer. So we're tied in, as mentioned, with our figure of eight. We're going to take one hand and put it just level with the top of the figure of eight. And that's just in front of my bottom few ribs there as well. I take my main body under my hand, over the top of my head, and back to the hand again. Over the top of my head down to the hand again. And we're just trying to create loads of these uniform loops. Now, it depends where you are and what you're doing as to how much rope you will need to take out of the system. But each of these coils that goes around your neck is gonna be about a meter long. So that might give you a gauge of how many you need to take out. Once you've got all the coils you need, we're gonna take this and slip it over our shoulder. And our main body of the rope still coming off the top of our shoulder here. So I'm going to reach through my coil, grab that and take a bite. And I'm going to bring this bite down so I capture my main line coming out of my figure of eight and the main body of the rope. Loop behind those and just tie an overhand in this bite now. Snug it all up. So at this point we need to check that the system is tied correctly. So grab your main body of the rope and you're going to pull that away from you. What you should find here is that nothing in your system changes. If these loops around your chest start cinching up and getting tighter, we need to go back and just revise how you've tied that overhand because that will be where the issue lies. What we're going to do is take a carabiner and clip this to the rope loop that we've tied onto our harness. And we're going to clip that end of the bite that we have now after our overhand. Clip that into that figure of eight and do it up. Now this is a setup for our sort of glacial travel. Um, and the idea here is that if you fall into a crevasse, a lot of the weight is going to get taken up on these chest coils. And it will hold you more upright so that whilst people are helping you out at the top, you're there unconscious. You're not going to be going upside down and you know all sorts of other bad stuff going on with you. Uh, you're already having a pretty bad day if you've fallen in the crevasse. So this keeps you upright. It's worth noting quickly that some people would rather not use this system during glacial travel, as although it will hold you upright in a crevasse, it can also pull you over head first if someone in front of you was to get pulled into a crevasse. For those people, I suggest you check out the next method, which is more used in scrambling and climbing. If we're using this in a more scrambling setting though, we're going to take ourselves a clove hitch and we're going to clip that onto the carabiner as well. So the clove hitch has now redirected any weight that's being taken through this system and put it back onto our climbing harness. And there you have it folks, you've taken your chest coils, you're ready for your next bit of the adventure. I've been Joel's Help Outdoor Instructor, thank you very much for watching, goodbye.